Good day, everyone. Um, today, I am again um, inspired and uh, so you know excited to to share to you the the loop statement in the in C programming language. Okay, uh, on my previous video, I I tend to to discuss the different uh, you know um, uh, conditional statement statements in C, and I did give some you know examples and. Uh, especially on the last video of mine um, I did discuss a, a sample program that will ask for a numeric value an integer numeric value and then eventually the program will display the its corresponding uh, value in words uh, it, it was so it was so technical uh, and it was so you know challenging on the part of me as the one uh, explaining to you guys and uh, on the other end, on the other side, it's going to be uh, a challenging part also on the learners and uh, the viewers of this uh, uh, YouTube channel of mine. And uh, I hope today I will be able to deliver something new to you and uh, will give you somehow more flexibility in as much as programming is concerned. And, uh, I am so excited, um, you know, seeing you guys doing good in programming in the next few years from now. Because, um, like I said, um, you know, it, the, the, the good, the best thing as, you know, be considered as the foundation of programming is learning C programming language. No? So that is why um, I said a while ago that I'm so excited. No? Every every time I, 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 I did some video taking, um, my, my mindset is this, uh, Lord, uh, bless the subscribers, those who are watching my video, because, you know, you know, guys, um, it's going to be my, 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 my advocacy that someday uh, many of you will become programmers. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to discuss today for loop statement and um, again this is um, a little bit technical and um, I would like to suggest please um, take this video seriously listen watch and if there's a need for you to watch again do it okay and uh, do some comments do some chat I mean if you have some questions towards my discussion uh, you can you can you can chat you can inform me so that I can I can create another video to address your your concern okay now um, I'm going to share my my notepad to you um, uh, here um, it says here that every loop statement and I am referring to for loop there, there are several loop statements in C programming but uh, on this particular video, I would like to focus on for loop, okay? Now, in every loop statement, it is consist of three parts in a sequence, meaning three events. So, every time it loops, right, it does three things. And what are these three things? First is initialization. What is this? Used to initialize the loop variable, meaning uh, part of part of you know the main the main function of loop is to initialize what is the starting point of the loop because when we see loop it is something that a certain task being done by your program several times right so there is this initialization and then second is condition meaning every time it loops will check eventually the condition as to whether the condition is true or false because if it is false it is it will then exit from the loop and if it is true it will continue doing the same thing right and uh, the last one is updation updation means what either to increase the value that is being initialized under initialization or to decrease depending upon the need of the program okay so there are three things right initialization condition and updation now for 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 me to explain it well and for you to understand it well also i i would love to share or to give you a sample program and even share with you the syntax 
the language of the language of for loop no if you are going to use for loop statement in C what is then the technicalities in it what is then the syntax the needed requirements right so um, in here this is the syntax okay you, you have to have four words and then initialization this is the three things in in loop statement you have to initialize then check the condition and then lastly increase or decrease right then if the condition is true perform good statements within the curly brackets of for loop this is the language okay so um assuming uh the problem will say uh, design a program to display hmm to display the value of of i assuming i has a value of 1 to 1 to 7 for example yeah display so design a program okay design a program to display the value i'm sorry no more no need for display here design a program to display the value of i i is a variable okay assuming variable i has a value of one to seven okay now uh, printing the value of i is actually the common thing and uh, if you are going to use for loop statement you can just have at least three lines or four lines of goods then you can print seven times right the value of i now that's that that's the good thing with the with loop statement okay so what is then the program um say for example what we'll start with include um okay and then int main i am fan of int main <laughs> okay and then uh we'll try to uh, to to initialize variable i as an integer variable okay and then um in here we can start for loop right what is then the initialization the value of i will start must start from one that's according to the problem right the value of the value of, of, of the value of i has a value of, no variable i has a value of one two seven so then the initialization the initial initialization should be i is equal to one semicolon then followed by condition what is then the condition we'll be using relational operators no i i i did discuss it on my previous you know video about uh different operators in c programming language okay um if you are not familiar with these operators i would like to suggest search my my youtube channel look for a video that discusses the the operators of c okay then you will know their the different uh, behaviors of uh, relational operators even mathematical operators and logical operators right okay now condition what is that if the value of i will start from one and it will end up at seven how is the condition oh you can say less than or equal to seven right so while the condition while that condition is true then perform the loop if false exit right and then i plus plus meaning increase now are you familiar with i plus plus this plus plus operators if you're not familiar please review my video about operators okay you can see all these things i plus plus means every time it loops it will increase by one so if i starts at one when it loop right i becomes two the next time i becomes three i becomes four and so on and, and, and so forth okay now um in here part of I'm sorry of the syntax is the curly bracket of for loop oh, sorry and then um, what is then the statement you are going to display what the value of I okay I is equal to person D and then person D is actually the data placeholder of whatever is the value of I and then um, return zero because I I am using 
in main okay if not then my program will not run okay so we'll try running this program control c and uh i would like to share with you my my, my online compiler online gdb um okay uh, i'll try to paste in here my program okay this is now my program please follow so i have in main i have this curly brackets of my main function and then i did declared i as an integer variable and here comes my for loop statement within my for loop statement is a single loop body that will print whatever is the value of i okay so this is an initialization part the three things this is condition and this is incrementation meaning every time it loops it will check the condition as to whether the value of i is less than or equal to seven then if it is still performed it increase the value by again okay so we'll try running this program let's see what's the screen output okay in here the screen output is i is equal to one i is equal to two so we need to hmm, we need to put some box lesson right so just just to just to because our our display here is uh, it's in one uh, horizontal line right? we cannot really understand the value you know so we'll try putting box last in to change the, the way the, the presentation of the output is being displayed and this is here so the screen output of this program is i is equal to one i is equal to two meaning it displays the value of i because of this one right in here uh print if statement print if statement i is equal to the present day present day is actually the data placeholder of this variable i okay so that's it right that's for loop statement okay now um sir junel can can i do programming the same thing but without using for loop statement i will just print I is equal to one. I is equal to two. That's still okay. That's still okay. But what if the program problem um, restrict you to to do that? I mean, require you to 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 use loop statements. And technically and logically, um, you have to use for loop statement. If there is this repetition of perform of of command, right? Because uh, this line here is being performed how many times seven times so there is a need of for loop statement or any loop statements huh? on my next video i will be discussing another type of loop statements there are i think three or four loop statements in c for now i am um, into for loop statement first okay and then maybe by 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 next day i'll be by next video i'll be sharing to you another another loop statements in c okay uh -huh. How much is the value of i after once the condition becomes false in here? Because at first, our i is 1, right? Once it loops, it becomes 1. Uh, here, I, I, would, I would like to discuss in here. Okay. Now, because of this initialization, please follow my mouse pointer. i, I has a value of 1, right? And then... And then check the check the condition. Is your i less than or equal to seven? Right. In that particular question, the condition is true because our i is one. Now, since true, perform the loop body. This is the loop body. So display the value of i. So muna nigawas ang i is equal to one. This is the display. Right, are you following? So this is the screen output. Now, since this is a loop statement, it turns back and it check again. Well, once it goes back to the condition, the, the value of i increases to one. So it becomes two. Because i plus plus means i is equal to i plus one. Meaning you're trying to increase the value of i by one. So it becomes two. And here's the question. Is your i, which is 2, um, less than or equal to, to 7? Yes, the condition is 
true. If it is true, then display will perform this statement. So, meaning, perform or print whatever is the value of i. And our i is 2. The following. Okay? And it loops again. Uh, what, what, what makes our program loops? That is a function of for loop statement. Okay? While the condition is still true, it gets on returning. Okay? Increase the value by check the condition. Increase the value by check the condition. Increase the value by check the condition. That's it. Until such time that the condition becomes false and it will exit from the loop. So this is the loop body. If it becomes false, it will exit. If it will not perform the loop body anymore and goes next to here. Okay? So, um, the next time, I I now is how much? Three. Because of I++. plus plus. Then, Condition is your i, which is 3. Okay, are you following? Less than or equal to 7. The condition is still true. Now, since true display the loop body, i is equal to 3. Are you following? Now, loop again. i now becomes how much? 4. Condition is your 4 less than or equal to 7 yes it's true since true perform the loop body display i is equal to whatever is the value of i which is 4 are you following now loops again i now has a value of 5 because of i plus plus condition is your i which is 5 less than or equal to 7 yes the condition is true then perform the loop body i is equal to i okay now here it loops again i now becomes how much 6 check the condition is your i which is 6 less than or equal to 7 yes true since true perform the loop body print the value of i okay now next it loops again because it kept it kept on it kept uh, it will it will keep on no, going back to to the loop statements while the condition is true so i now is how much seven okay now condition is your i which is seven less than or equal to seven the condition is true right because seven is equal to seven no it's not less than but it is equal that's the behavior of less than or equal to. Then, print the loop body. Print i and whatever is the value of i. And it is now 7. Loop again, right? This time, our i is how much? Our i is 8. Then, check the condition. Is your i, which is 8, less than or equal to 7? The result or the condition is false. Now, since the condition is false, exit the loop body. Do not perform this one. Go to return zero and release it. That's why when we are when we run this program, there's all this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Let's go back to our online compiler. And when we are going to run it again, the result is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, question: How much is the is the value of i when it exits from the loop? Going back to our simulation, manual simulation. The value of i is 8. Because in this particular example, there's only one way for our condition to become false. And that is if i is 8. Because we are trying to increase the value of i by 1. Right? When it is 7, it's still true. But when it is 8, it will become false. Now, to prove that, then we'll try to add statement in here right before exiting the program we'll try to print okay we'll try to print the value of i the value of i when it exits from the loop 
is then we'll try to check we'll be using placeholder and we'll display whatever is the value of i are you following okay and we'll add this we'll try running this program to prove uh, the i is 8 look at that the value of i when it exits from the loop is 8 okay are you following? Did I did I did I explain the program well? Huh? Do you have questions? If there is, then please chat. Okay, go do some comments so that I can I can create another video for your your questions. Okay. Now, uh, what if instead of instead of you know instead of um, trying to stop at seven, right? We're trying to stop at 7 as far as the value of i is concerned. But if our i depends on, I mean, the, 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 the limits of i depends on the user. How is that so? We'll try, well, we'll try to add another variable. Are you following? Okay. And then, um, we'll try to... Ask value from the user. Enter um, value as our limit. And then you can say scan f, um, right? Present D, I'm oh, sorry. Present D, okay, ampersand x. Are you following? Huh? Are you following? Now, instead of 7 in here, we'll replace it by x. Okay? So, meaning, uh, whatever is the value entered or inputted by the user, that, that, that value is then the, 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 the limit of our program. But in this particular example, see to it that x is not 0. Right? Because uh, if that is the case, then our program will not exist. Right? So, so here, we'll try running this program. Okay? Our program now asks for what? Enter value as our limit. If we will say 7, when we press enter k, it will display i. No? Starts from 1 to 7. And then it displays here. The last value of i when it exits from the loop is 8. Okay? So, run it again. Let's see. Um, say, for example, we'll try to put or to enter 4. When you press enter k, uh, it displays the value of i from 1 to 4. And the last value of i is how much? 5. Okay? Get my, get my point, right? Uh, run it again. I, I, I hope you you get the logic of the program. Um, let us say 9. When you press enter K, um, it displays the value of I from 1 to 9. And then the last time it, uh, I exits, the value is 10. Okay. Now here, um, we'll try to do some you know, changes. Instead of... Um, <clears throat> instead of um, increasing the value of i by by one uh, honestly we can we can increase it by 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 two or by three or by four no it depends upon you as i'm sorry you as programmer okay so um for example uh we'll try to increase the value of i by by 2 so we cannot see i plus plus because i plus plus means increase it by 1 so we can see i is equal to i plus 2 and every time it loops it will increase the value of i by 2 so we'll try running this program okay um uh, let us see 6 when we press enter k okay 
the value of i starts from 1 because of this initialization. Uh, what is that? Uh, for i is equal to 1. And then every time it loops, it increases by 2. So 1 plus 2, that's 3. 3 plus 2, that's 5. When it exits from the loop, the value is 7. Why not 6? 7 because every time it loops, we tend to add 2 to our i. Right? So, <laughs> um, or uh, based on on my discussion on my previous video about operators, in this particular, um, in that particular um, expression, you can uh, you can actually say uh, uh, i plus equals two, the same the same result. Meaning you are trying to increase the value by by two, right? So we'll try running this program. The same. So say for example eight, then you press enter k, one through five seven, and it exits when i is nine. Because every time it loops, the interval is 2, right? So you can either say i is equal to i plus 2 or you can say i plus equals to 2. That's the shortcut or, you know, I, I did discuss this in in, our, in my previous video. Okay. So um, I, I, I hope I I was able to explain the, the function of for loop statement, right? I hope I was able to discuss uh, the thing that, uh, you know, it can make you, you know, understand the problem and uh, if you have still you know some difficulties of looking at it do some comments in, on it and uh, we'll try to create another video for you we can even increase the value by by nine meaning every time it loops it will increase by, by nine so we'll try running this program okay um let's say for example the value is 30. So when you press the third K, uh, the value of i is from 1, then plus 9, that's 10, plus 9, 19, plus 9, 28. And it exceeds when the value is 37. Okay. So um, I think that's it. Uh, we can even add another another um, formula in here. You can say print if, um, say for example, um, uh, box plus n. Right, to and then um, I is um, um, let's say uh, what is this? Um, um, let us say for example, uh, we'll try to do some kind of lang, uh, uh, like this, and then equals percent D. Right. Please follow my my, my, my program. Then I uh, I plus I plus three. Say for example. And uh, we'll try to you know instead of this one we'll say I plus plus meaning we'll increase the value by by one. So we'll try running it again. Okay. So I uh, what I'm trying to point out is I, I did give you some you know some flexibilities. No? You can, you can you can have in your loop body you can have more than one 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 set for as for as long as there is this curly brackets in for loop here okay so if there is this one uh, uh, within is actually the loop body so if the condition is true the loop body will be performed okay so here say for example you say seven uh, no, um let us say five for example so it displays what okay so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In between is 4, 5, we're following, 6, 7, and 8. Why? Because of this formula. Okay? I plus 3. So, if if i is 1, plus 3, that's 4. If i is 2, plus 3, that's 5. If i is 3, plus 3, that's 6. If i is 4, 
plus 3 that is 7 if i is 5 plus 3 that is 8 right so that's it do you have questions um, did i discuss it well okay so i think that's all for today i hope i was able to explain and discuss for loop statement the way you wanted it and again and again if you have some questions do some comments and for me to be reminded and you know to create another video that will address your concern okay thank you so much guys um god bless you god is good um goodbye for now <laughs>